have two different worlds colliding here today. We have the premium electric truck offering from Ford, the Lightning pickup, and over here we have the baddest, the craziest F-150 that money could buy, the Shelby. And in today's video, we're gonna put these things head to head and see which one of these is truly the baddest F-150 of them all. We're standing next to the F-150 Lightning, which is Ford's first take into the electric truck market. This specific one is a Platinum, which is the highest trim option available. And Ford does give you the option to select between a dual motor or a single motor. This specific one is equipped with the dual, which means it's producing about 550 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. And all of this electric goodness is gonna cost you about $100,000 MSRP. And then of course we're standing next to the baddest, the craziest F-150 you could buy. This is Shelby's take on the performance version of Ford's pickup truck. This specific one is what is known as the lifted Shelby, which means you have these nice all-terrain tires, you have the lift kit, and of course the crazy minds at Shelby got their hands on a Larry F-150 and they put a three liter Whipple supercharger on it, which jacked the horsepower up to about 775. And all of this, is gonna cost you a nice $130,000 MSRP. So after extensive testing and research, we have deduced that the Lightning is actually the faster truck of the two. The results were honestly pretty surprising and shocking to us as usually we thought the Lightning would be the one that would be you know, hard off the line and it would take off and this thing would pass it, but actually the complete opposite happened. The Shelby was the one that took off on the line as you guys can see in the footage. It's the one that was the hard hitter when it came to the launch. It would take off, but then get passed by the Lightning and only in one of our tests did the Shelby come out on top in both ways. These tests can show us is electric cars are fast and they can keep up even with the highest, highest echelon of performance oriented vehicles. And as we know, they're only gonna continue to get better. 